Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I am Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA, and joining me again is the lovely, uh, we are back, Allison Whalen, our Events Director at uh, JSA. Allison, this is day one recap. It is day one recap. So we started with David Tran of Capacity, probably a pretty popular guy this week. David has been planning the event for months. So yeah. we got the inside scoop from him. My, my guy is buttoned up too. Yeah. He, he knows exactly what's happening, when it's happening, he why it's happening. Yes. What, he, he has got it all together. And Absolutely. that's a good thing because I think he has to in that, right? <laughs> yeah. There's only, what, just over 2,000 yeah. people to make sure and that... And counting. They said they still have people registering today, people showing up on site and registering. Yeah, uh, 2,000, over 2,000. That's exactly right. So uh, that was good. We also spoke with Amit Samani at uh, uh, ABS Global Limited. And the interesting thing about um, the discussion with Amit is that uh, I think he said that he was the only, the only satellite provider yeah. in, at the and, and the entire event. And so my natural question was, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Naturally, I'm thinking it's a good thing because, good, yeah. uh, right, exactly wrong, because the ecosystem um, creates additional business. And so the more satellite folks that are here, um, the more business they drum up for ABS Global. So a very, very insightful conversation so with Emmett. So 2024, we want the more, satellite companies So coming. you heard that, yes. uh, Capacity <laughs> Middle East 2024 satellite providers, you need to be here. Uh, and who else Vani did? Venkatesh from Airtel. We've seen Vani a lot recently. We were just with her at a couple other events. So she's already back, had a lot to talk about. That was a great conversation. I think she could have run the conversation by herself. I just <laughs> Should had we invite to... her tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Um, always very, very insightful yes. uh, with Vani talking about um, all of the, uh, the interesting opportunities there in India, obviously. Yes. Um, so lots going on there. And then um, we concluded with David Rabinowitz from Digital Reality Israel. Michael Rabinowitz. Oh, Michael Rabinowitz. That's okay. okay. We've had David's. <laughs> We're we've redoing had it. Yes, That's exactly. Um, and so uh, the interesting thing about uh, about Michael uh, was that. Um, he was really, really hyper-focused on Israel and Israel as a kind of burgeoning uh, data center, uh, data uh, yeah. consumption hub in, uh, in, uh, in the Gulf. So there's, you know, lots of really great things going on there um, in Israel. Um, also, what you may not know, Allison, is that I'm actually going to be moderating a discussion tomorrow. I think this I is, did know that, but tell me more. This is a little plug <laughs> uh, on on cloud adoption in the Middle East, and already there's a lot of buzz around uh, around that panel discussion. So I'm I'm, I'm psyched to uh, to get the show on the road tomorrow. But um, we still have a little bit of stuff to do today. We've got a uh, reception. We to do. Attend. We've got it's a on. cocktail reception tonight, so everybody can. Take a little debrief, come network, come mingle, get your business cards ready, and we'll all be there. That's right. Allison, it's always great to uh, to do this with you. Yes. Uh, we'll see you at the reception later today. We will, yes. All right. And thank you, viewers, for watching Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. We'll see you soon.